Good evening and Merry Christmas. I'm Pastor Bill Wiggs from the Sunfield and Greenwood United Methodist Churches in Southern Illinois. This year, because of COVID, we were unable to have our choir cantata. It is always a wonderful time of celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ and understanding the gift of salvation that we have in his name. Tonight, on this wonderful Christmas evening, we are going to show an encore performance of our 2019 Christmas cantata. I hope that it is a blessing to you and that you will not only listen and watch, but that you will experience the love and grace of God as you enjoy this beautiful message of Christ. Shepherd to ran to the stable, sang it in wonder to tell how God wrapped Himself in our weakness, becoming our Emmanuel. When the soul of Bethlehem fills all the world with the joy of Jesus. Like a banner of love from redemption's dawn, now the song of Bethlehem rings on and on and on. The song of Bethlehem's It sounded like a typical night on the outskirts of Bethlehem. The bleeding of sheep, wind rustling through the grass, yawning shepherds fighting to stay awake at their posts. But this run-of-the-mill night would soon turn extraordinary as the skies burst with the most beautiful song. The angel of the Lord was bringing news, joyful news.
Suddenly those sleepy shepherds were jolted awake, hearts pounding with fright. But the angel said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. Oh, 
When the choir of angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said, Let's go to Bethlehem and see for ourselves what the angels have told us about. So they hurried off to find Mary and Joseph and the baby, the infant Savior King, not in regal garb, not in a palace, but in swaddling clothes in a dusty stable behind an overcrowded inn. The shepherds returned to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had seen and heard. Oh, may we, like them, 
be ever filled with the awe that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son to be our Savior. May the very thoughts stir our hearts to worship. O oh, come, let us adore him as we join our voices and sing the story again.
song of Bethlehem just keeps on ringing on, and we're so thankful tonight that you've come to be a part of our worship. So thankful for the choir and all those who brought this message of salvation to us. We're thankful that Jesus is here with us tonight and that we indeed have salvation in His name. You know, as we are gathered here tonight, we are gathered here to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But I want to celebrate more than just His birth tonight. I want to celebrate the gift of salvation that comes through Jesus. I want to celebrate tonight the fact that if we only give our hearts to Him, that we indeed will have all of our sins forgiven and we will have eternal life. The mission of the church, the mission of the people of God is to share the light of Christ with the world. And as we share that light with others, many more come to know that we have a Savior who is Christ the Lord. If there's anybody here tonight who says, you know, I'm home for Christmas, I'm here to be with my family, but if I had to really be honest with myself and with the Lord, I'd have to say that I don't really know Him, then I invite you tonight to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Believe me, there's no greater gift. I accepted Jesus over 30 years ago now, and I've never regretted one moment of it. Oh, the, the church has been an amazing ministry and an amazing time together. But let me tell you something. The church is the family of God gathered. And it's each one of us experiencing the light and salvation of Jesus Christ. Maybe this has been a tough year for you. I want you to experience His peace. Father, we come before You tonight knowing that we can trust You with our lives and our hearts. We know that You gave us salvation through Jesus Christ and that birth in the manger so long ago still has an effect on us today. For that baby born in Bethlehem is the Savior who went to the cross and died for us and rose again. So Lord, I invite You tonight to touch each heart that's here. For those that need to know You for the very first time, God, I just pray that You touch their hearts right now. That even at their seats, they can speak and call out to You and say, I know I need You, Lord. Come into my life right now. Forgive me of all my sins and make me perfectly whole. For those tonight who are having a difficult time and they just need a touch from You for healing, we pray that You'd pour that out on them right now in Jesus' name. Lord, may Your Son, Jesus Christ, be born anew in each and every heart tonight and always. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. As we go from this place tonight, may we go to spread His light to all the world. May everyone we meet know that we have a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And as we serve Him, may our joy be ever-increasing because we do have a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Go in that peace and that joy, the light of Christ shining from your hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merry Christmas to you.